Before developing multiple myeloma, most people have preceding phases of disease that include conditions known as monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, referred to as MGUS, and smoldering multiple myeloma. Collectively, these are referred to as myeloma precursor conditions. In both of these conditions, abnormal plasma cells grow in the bone marrow, resulting in a buildup of monoclonal, or M protein, which is detectable in the blood. Generally, neither condition is associated with organ damage or any of the symptoms commonly associated with multiple myeloma. Because MGUS and smoldering myeloma tend not to cause signs or symptoms, these conditions may remain undiagnosed for years. They are not usually detected unless people are screened for them. Therefore, a person may be unaware that he or she even has a precursor condition. But these conditions are an important potential early warning that a person is at risk of developing myeloma. And efforts are underway to develop methods to more easily identify individuals who have these precursor conditions. MGUS almost always precedes myeloma. For a person with MGUS, the risk of progression to myeloma increases approximately 1% per year. Treatment for MGUS is not needed, but patients are usually monitored for signs of progression to smoldering or active myeloma. In smoldering myeloma, the level of M protein in the blood and plasma cells in the bone marrow is even higher than in MGUS. Smoldering myeloma is associated with a higher risk of progression to myeloma around 10% per year. Individuals with smoldering myeloma require close follow-up by their doctor. This usually involves having laboratory tests done every three months. Some people with smoldering myeloma are more likely than others to progress to active myeloma. They have what is known as high-risk smoldering myeloma. Identifying and treating these individuals could potentially prevent progression to myeloma. With this in mind, Researchers have developed a new model to help identify the individuals with smoldering myeloma who are most likely to progress to myeloma. The model uses a 2-2020 rule that measures three risk factors associated with progression to active myeloma, M protein levels, free light chain ratio, and the number of plasma cells in the bone marrow. Patients with two or more risk factors are considered high risk. In the future, this 2 2020 model may be augmented with models that look at the genetics of the individual, which could significantly improve the accuracy of identifying those at highest risk of progressing to myeloma. Clinical trials are currently investigating whether patients with high-risk smoldering myeloma have better outcomes when they receive earlier treatment. Researchers are investigating treatments to prevent active myeloma in individuals who have myeloma precursor conditions. Data collected from studies, such as the PROMISE and PCROWD studies, led by clinicians at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, will help researchers identify factors that may be associated with progression to active myeloma. Patients enrolled in the PROMISE or PCROWD studies may also be eligible to join the MMRF's CureCloud study to donate their data. Active myeloma is almost always preceded by the precursor conditions MGUS and smoldering myeloma. Patients with these conditions do not receive treatment, but should be regularly monitored. Currently, treatment of patients who have high-risk smoldering myeloma is only available in clinical trials. The results of these trials are promising, providing good reason for hope and optimism. As more data is collected from patients with myeloma precursor conditions, new myeloma treatments take an important step toward giving patients and doctors better tools and options, enabling them to make more informed treatment decisions.